real unemployment is substantially much higher than being reported. I'm gonna outline a few things where you can understand how bad this is and the effects it's gonna have on the economy. Because I got a Facebook post from someone that says we're gonna have a V-shaped recovery because of all of this pent up demand. And I didn't really tear into him. I was just like, well, we'll see. But I kept mentioning all of the businesses that have closed that are not gonna reopen and the lingering unemployment. Even after we get to the other side of this, I feel that unemployment is gonna be 10 to 15%. And I'm gonna explain why in this video. And I'm also going to give you some tips on things you could do to improve your situation. Because I don't think the government's gonna cut another check anytime soon. All right, if you're here, I got something for you. 30 days to $2,500. And one of the things I'm getting ready to do is open up the Facebook group to everyone who's taking 30 days to 2,500. And we're gonna have a live 30 days to $2,500 challenge to help you make some money. So that's gonna be below and there will be weekly webinars. The webinars will not be free, I need to say that. But the link and everything will be below and we're gonna start this off Tuesday, 7 p.m. There, there are many people who feel that there's gonna be another check and there potentially will be, but let me give you the calculation on what's gonna happen. They're not gonna cut a check until they absolutely have to. And as long as we're limping along, as long as the states are opening up, they're not gonna cut a check. But let's get to the real meat of the matter. I want you to Google and look at YouTube videos of all of these people who have been unemployed for weeks who cannot file for unemployment. They can't get through. And they've literally been unemployed two, two months now and three months in some cases. So what you're seeing, the 36.6 million people who filed for unemployment, those are the people who got through. Those are not the people who have not been able to get through. There's been videos, there's been accounts of people who've called, they've been trying to get in, they've called 50, 60 times. It's kind of like calling into one of the radio stations to get a prize, how you got the, this is what people are facing. So unemployment, we may literally be at 30% unemployment right now. And I'm gonna tell you why that is so bad. When a person becomes unemployed and they suffer a long-term layoff, this damages their economic prospects for two to three decades. Any long-term unemployment situation damages future earnings for a long, long time. Unless this person enrolls in 30 days to 2,500 and start a business and starts to practice accelerated income. Links below. There are, there are so many people who have the Trump notion of we're going to, going to, we're going to open it up in the third quarter, fourth quarter is going to be great, 2021 is going to be, it's not going to happen. If you look into the math, and if you look at the analysts for the big investment funds, we're all saying the same thing. This recovery is not gonna be quick, it's not gonna be fast, and we're going to, you know, the CEO of Boeing fully expects the airline industry to be damaged for three years. This is what the smart people who are looking at the numbers are saying. They're not coming out here saying that this is gonna be quick, because I understand, People don't like bad news. People don't want to get any more bad news. Every day is tragic. There are people who are dying. There is people, there are businesses that are closing. Uh, someone posted a video of a man had to close down his music store and the dude was literally in tears because he had to close his store down, not because he didn't have customers, it was because the state told him to. And that, long after this is over there's going to be stories of the economic carnage that is literally ripping through the economy right now we have so many people who are in a bad bad situation and it's just going to get much much worse and part of the reason this is happening is the great american credit indoctrination system this is why so many people don't have savings this is why so many people have no cash money in the bank because we've been so addicted to credit that people don't go ahead and do the responsible thing. And this is why I know that many of the things that I'm putting on Savage Finance, my YouTube channel, are not really 
falling on open ears because there's what used to happen. I mean, I, I will tell you a story of something that before the Great Recession, I was able to start an LLC from scratch and build my business credit up to getting Visa and MasterCard. I had a $100,000 credit card from GE Capital, the Home Depot MasterCard. That was was possible before all of this carnage of the last recession and before the banks start tightening it down. You know, I've got people who reached out to me. They want to start these businesses and they don't want the PG and it's just not going to happen. The current economic environment, you're going to have to PG unless you have an established corporation with filed tax returns that they will check. They're going to ask you for permission to check your tax returns, your corporate returns, before they issue the, these non-PG cards. Because they want to make sure that your corporation is economically healthy. And this is one of the things that so many people are missing. Because, you know, there's a lot of folks who are telling you that, you know, these landlords, all, all these business owners, they're not going to sell. I'm here to tell you, as a business owner who was in real business, who used to walk up to people and, like, make 50% offers. Now, what is a 50% offer? 50% of whatever they were asking. And I had a lot of people take me up on those deals. I'm here to tell you, everyone is not financial. It's not a financial fortress. There are not a whole bunch of people who are sitting on paid off property. Due to the economic largest of the last 12 years, so many people are over leveraged. It ain't funny. And, you know, there, there are some people who are like my former landlord. He had 35, 40 warehouses that were completely paid for. There are people like him, but that's not the norm. That ain't the norm. Anyone telling you that that's the norm, that there's so many people in these good situations, they lying to you. It ain't the norm. The norm is to be over leveraged and to have these situations because understand, people are trying to sell products and they're going to tell you what you want to hear. I am trying to sell a product, but I'm going to tell you the truth. And if me telling you the truth costs me a sale, so be it. Because I'm going to sleep well tonight because I'm going to tell you the truth. We are about to go through a dark two to three years because with this masses, like I said, we could literally be at 30% unemployment and we could potentially reach 40% unemployment if things go. So, you know, I, I know that this is bad news and no one wants to hear bad news and people just want to go ahead and enjoy the summer and go to the beach and forget all of these bad things that are happening. But here's the thing. Whether you choose to educate yourself, whether you choose to be informed or not, if you choose not to be informed, that doesn't mean these bad things are not going to catch up with you. They will be coming for you. The big penis in the sky is coming for you. Whether you choose to acknowledge it or not, it's coming. And this is one of the things that I'm trying to educate people and let people know and get all, you know, because there are some people who are rich right now. There are some people who are going to get richer right now. And there are some people who are playing the game and they're going to fail. They're going to fail. They're going, they're over leveraged. They're doing too much and they're going to fail because one of the things you have to understand as someone who was in the real good economy, dealing with real money, dealing with real businesses, dealing with real people. I know how people are. And this is why these stimulus check videos do so well because people are waiting for someone to come save them. And I'm here to tell you, it ain't gonna happen. I guarantee you if they do work some other stimulus bill through, it's gonna be another $1,200 check or even less. It's not gonna be generous. It's not gonna be these $2,000 proposals. It's just not. Because we're literally on the precipice of adding $10 trillion to the national deficit this year. And why is that important? Well, if we get our national deficit to 30 trillion and our GDP goes down to 20 trillion, we're gonna have a problem. This is the same thing that happened with Japan. Japan GDP is 4.9 trillion, but their debt is 10 trillion. And this is why they had this lost decade of no economic growth because Right now, the Fed is doing double monkey backflips to try to keep everything solvent. But it ain't going to be enough because the real problem here is all of these small businesses going out of business, all of these layoffs and this high unemployment. 
And then when you factor in uh, four million people took the forbearance, that's probably going to be two to three million dollar house, two to three million houses that are going to be on the market in 2021. Because many of these people who took these forbearances are the same people who have been laid off. And many of these people who have been laid off are going to be permanently laid off because their businesses are not going to open up again. And once you start to look at the math and dive into the numbers, there is no way that we're going to have a fast and speedy recovery. It's just implausible. It's just not in the cards if you're being honest. And I know that many people like to have this rosy view that America is the greatest country in the world. And I, I do believe that. I mean, the opportunities here are unprecedented anywhere else in the world. However, we got a problem and we got a big problem. And I'm, I'm debating the closures and the lockdowns because I'm at a point where, you know, I live in the truth. I face the truth. And the lockdowns and the closures have created more damage, more harm, and they've hurt so many people than I think this virus would have killed. So we're opening up. We're not going back. Even if there's a massive spike, we're not going back because the people in charge have done the calculations and it's like, we're going to go forward. And if someone dies, they die. That's just the way it's going to be. It's, it's going to be a situation of the fittest, the strongest survive and the weak perish. And that's where we are. And this is why you as an individual need to be looking out for your own best interest. I know that many of you, and th this is something funny. I'm in this YouTube mastermind, and right now we're talking about audiences. And this, this, this will surprise you. I used to think that my audience were people who wanted to start businesses. That's not my audience. It's not my audience at all. My audience are people who like spicy topics, because whenever I do something topical, something about the economy, something like that, views out the, out the butt. I get views, but whenever I do a very business focused video that's talking about LLC, not so much because my audience likes to be entertained. My audience likes to be, you know, because there, there's there's a hardcore group of business owners and people who appreciate the business content. I thank you guys. But overall, the audience, because whenever I do something saucy like this video is probably going to do very well because it's a very current topic and many people are looking for the truth because I'm starting to see in these stimulus check videos, it's like, man, why are you talking about this? This is just garbage. Why are you playing with me? This ain't going nowhere. They ain't going to do nothing. This is just pointless. You know, you're starting to see this in these comments because people are starting to like, um, <laughs> we're not getting a check. It ain't going to happen. But I want you to really understand the numbers. And I want you to understand that if as many people were as well healed as you're being told, why are most people poor in this country? 52% of America makes less than $33,000 a year. 52% of working America. We have 160 million people working. So that means 80 million people make less than $33,000 a year. And we got like 120 probably 130 million that make less than six figures. Maybe 140, maybe 150 million make less than six figures. I'm just here to tell you that for you to economically survive this thing, even if you still have your job, you need to start a side business. You need to get out and start serving your fellow man or fellow woman. You need to do this ASAP because you have a job today, that may not be the case tomorrow. Right now, un unemployment insurance funds are running thin. And here's the thing, a lot of people haven't applied for, been able to apply. I want you to hear, you know, and this is how the unemployment insurance thing works. It's a federal program, but the states run their own uninsurance, uninsurance benefits program. But if a state runs out of money, they go to the Fed and there's this large general fund. During the last recession, which was nothing like what we're going through right now, 36 states borrowed from that fund. I guarantee you there are states right now on the precipice are about to hit that fund. And we may have 50 states 
hitting that fund and it may literally run out of money. So you're, you, you're on unemployment, you're getting your, your, your $600 from the Fed, you're getting your extra money. What's, what are you going to do when it runs out? My favorite expression, and you know, I got people who, who get tired of hearing it, but luxuries once tasted become necessities. If you've been on unemployment for three straight months and you've been getting a G a week, that's going to become a necessity for you. You're, you're not going to want to live on anything else less because you have become accustomed to getting that money. You've become addicted to getting that money. I get a G a week. I get to stay at home. I get to have fun with Big Booty Betty. I get to live my life. I get to go to the store. I get to do what I want to do and I'm not held down by a job. That freedom is so addictive. And this is, this is also, and I'm, going, I'm about to go a little dark here. This is why the suicide rate is about to skyrocket. You're going to have many, many people who are going to get addicted to these perks and these luxuries. And when they're taken away, they're going to crack up. They're literally going to crack up because the average American isn't built for hardship. It just isn't. And we're going to have this situation where we're going to have a lot of people who are going to be in harm's way. And I'm here to tell you, one of the things you've got to do is practice personal finance, self-defense. You've got to get more income. You've got to get some stuff going on. Because, like I said, there, there's so many people who are in a bad way. I understand that. My heart goes out to them. I've been there. I know what it's like to be hungry. I know what it's like. And I, there, there are people who are like, you know, these folks aren't going hungry. If you have lived where I have lived, I remember I was living in this boarding house in the West End. And the West End was notorious for having a lot of crackheads. One day I was sitting on the porch and this girl was walking down the street and she was whacked out on crack and she had a gun and she was literally walking and shooting in the ground. Bang, bang, bang. I froze because I didn't want to start on her. That was the environment that I used to live in. There were people going hungry. There was poverty. There was drug addiction. I know what that looks like. And that component of America is about to dramatically expand. Right now, liquor sales are all time high. People are doing drugs because they're stressed. The lower social economic strata of America is about to exponentially expand. And many of these people are never going to climb out unless they run into some, something like what I did. Because I was in that situation where I wasn't making a lot of money. I was working some crappy jobs. I was working two of them, to be honest with you. And what saved me was personal self-education. What saved me was taking action. And what saved me was adapting the abundance mindset. Because I've had some people reach out to me and it's like, man, you're giving that course away. You know, isn't that a little bit too generous? No, it's not. I am a practitioner of the abundance mindset. And this is something that even if your life is on fire, you need to start embracing because once you mentally embrace the abundance mindset and once you program your subconscious mind to act in your best interests, things will start to shape up for you. Because I can give this course away because I can make courses. I can make more courses. I can make more money. I'm not worried about that. But one of the things that you should be worried about is your economic situation here in America. Because every day I look at the coronavirus map and I'm seeing these articles that infection rates aren't going up. Every day I look at the map, the infection rates are going up. And there is a disinformation campaign being put upon you. Why can't you go to a website and find out exactly how many people are unemployed? Because the powers that be don't want you to know that we're probably at 40 million people unemployed right now. They don't want you to know that. They don't want you to freak out about that because understand that media is controlled and most media is run by three large corporations. So all these blogs and stuff, they're part of that network. Why, why can't you find out how much, how many people are unemployed? reliably because literally you have to put together very a few articles because no one actually boils it down to because it's horrible frankly it's horrible how bad the unemployment is and the massive bankruptcies the bankruptcy courts are going to be working overtime once they fully open up and we start getting things going back to going going back to where they were bankruptcy courts are going to be 
crazy. You got a lot of people who are going to be filing personal bankruptcy. You're going to have a lot of business owners filing business bankruptcy. And this will be unprecedented in America, the number of people who file bankruptcy. Now, why am I telling you this? When people operate from a position of truth, they make better decisions. When people operate from a position of truth, better decisions are made. If you make decisions based on false narratives to outright lies, you're going to make bad decisions because you were conned and tricked. And this is why I'm here giving you the truth because I want you to, I want, I want you to go look at my history. If you've been watching this channel for a minute, how many times have I been wrong? A few times, but 90 something percent of the time I'm right. And I'm telling you, I am not wrong on this. We're not going to have a V-shaped recovery. Just keep watching the stock market. Once these companies, real earnings start to filter into the market, it's going to crash again. It's just going to crash again. And, you know, for all you folks who, who are, you know, doing stocks and day trading and right now you guys are loving it because the volatility, it just makes you money if you know what you're doing. But for the average person, this is a calamity. This is chaos. This is absolute chaos. And what I want you to do is to sit back, think, what can you do? Because here it is, for you to get out of this mess, if you're deep in this mess, you're going to have to do more. Let's just dispense with all the internet marketing stuff that you're going to create this little program. You're not going to work that hard. That, just, just get rid of that. Just, just, just kick that out the window. That's not going to happen. You're going to have to work hard. You're going to have to put forth effort. You're going to have to show up every day. But you want to thrive or you want to go under? Because I'm here to tell you there's going to be so much opportunity for those who are willing to do the work. It will be there will be millionaires that will be created out of this and there will be billionaires that will be created out of this. Depending on where you are with your orbit, I don't know if that's going to be you. But. It could potentially, you could go from a regular dude to a six figure or seven figure, seven figure person in this, in this crap. If you start a business, if you start serving people, you start creating products. I had someone ask me, why did I mention that I had a $50,000 consulting package on my YouTube channel? I was like, if they don't know about it, they can't buy it. And this is one of the things, cause this is why, you know, I, I have my little, pesky little trolls who watch everything I do remind me of that song. Someone's watching me. I feel like someone's watching me. I, I will put out some. If it don't work, I will pull it back. That's called education. That's called knowledge. Oh, this didn't work. So we're not going to do that anymore. So we're going to do this other thing and we're going to do this other thing. And there, this is one of the things that you can tell because all of my people who are, I know personally who are real business owners, they failed. They had many failures, but they kept going on. And that's why they're successful because they're cut from a different cloth than the average person who would just give up at the first signs of trouble. But it's out there. So join me with 30 days to 2,500. And what we're going to do is starting this Tuesday is I'm going to answer your questions and I'm going to give you some additional info. And there's going to be four webinars. So for the next four weeks, we're going to light 30 days to 2,500 on fire. And if you're in the program, I'm giving you the course. So you should be in the program. And it's $150 to get to the webinars, which I think is reasonable for what you're getting. And let's do it. Let's set this thing on fire. Let's make some money. Let's start some businesses because I'm talking to the people who really want to start a business. I'm not talking to the people who observe this channel just for giggles and kicks and fun. Because that's the majority of my audience. My YouTube mastermind helped me realize that, that my audience was not what I thought it was. And this is why, you know, for the hardcore business people, uh, I love you guys because you guys, you guys are the ones who buy the courses. You guys are the ones who support me. So I really appreciate that. So thank you. But let's light this thing on fire. And there should be another video right here. Check it out. It's for you.